We're going to design a simple box using Maker Case and Adobe Illustrator. Go to makercase.com and select Basic Box. At the top, where it's asking for our major dimensions, before we do that, we're going to select Inside. We're focusing on the internal dimensions. Now we'll enter the height, width, and depth of our box. We'll stick to inches for now. I'll set these parameters and I'll move on to my material thickness. The material that I'm cutting with is about 0.2 inches in thickness, so I'm going to enter that under custom thickness. Once you've selected all your parameters, make sure that you've chose open box and we're using finger joints. You're welcome to play with the finger size. Once you're ready, we can download the box plans. I don't need the labels, so I'll disable that. We can combine the parts or separate them. We do want to adjust our line formatting. And for the laser cutter that we're using, red is a cut line. Blue would be a vector engrave. We'll set up a kerf and corner compensation. Our kerf is about seven thousandths of an inch. And we'll change our cut line to 0 0.01. We can see the two differentiate between black and red lines. From here, we can download a DXF or SVG. I'm going to download an SVG, and I'm going to save this file. Once I've saved my layout, I'll open up Adobe Illustrator, create a new file, and I'm going to set mine to my laser cutter parameters with 24 and the height being 12, and I'm in RGB color mode. I'll hit OK. I'm going to go File, Place. Find my box file, place it in the document, and now I can manipulate my design. If I'd like to edit one piece, I can double click that layer, and now I can move that one particular piece. Once I click off, it's back to being grouped again. Here we can look at our parts, and if I'd like to cut certain pieces to make this really quick, I'm just going to select my line segment tool and I'm going to cut off this top layer. So I'm just going to connect those two lines and on the sides, I'm going to connect them to the tops and I'll do the same on this piece and just mirror it. It should give me a slant and a cut off front. The last thing that I'll do is select my rectangle tool and the ellipse. And I'm going to place an ellipse the size of a number 10 bolt, which is about 0.188. And now I can move that. And I've created all the parts for my box. From here, my files are able to be laser cut. In Illustrator, you can print straight to the laser cutter. Click Print. Select your laser cutter up top in Printers, and then just hit Print. If your lines are 0.01 points and they're fully red, it should show up as cut lines and we can set up our material and settings. I'll click natural, wood, medium woods, birch. And again, our material is about 0.2 inches thick. I'll hit apply, okay. And I can click the move tool and make sure that my material is where I'm cutting. You can move the laser to a specific location in order to check. And once everything's warmed up, turn on the exhaust and you can hit play in order to cut your material off.